Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Now, I am having this weird thing again, which if we look at my food, it looks like I'm swimming. I am up here. I was taking damage for no reason. I was getting, like, hit up. So I don't know if... I really don't know what's causing this, to be honest. I, I can't figure it out. I didn't see anything near me, um, so yeah. Why is my my hunger bar doing that? Like it, I started just started taking random damage, and I was just standing there, like so. That is a bit weird. Um, okay, I did some checking on the. What if it's because of like him? No, he's like too far away. I was like in my base, like way over here. I don't think there's any way he could like hit me. Um, but I am thinking about maybe doing like a bit of a barrier to stop them from doing what this guy's doing. And one of the things I thought I could maybe test out was uh, where is it? This right here. You can actually build walls and fences. I thought maybe, I don't know, try that out, but maybe do like a big long kind of wall along the water and then have like a gate kind of where the bridge is. Um, so I don't know. I haven't quite figured that out, but I did kind of look into. Ooh, I'm stuck. I did look into um, Twilight Forest and there is actually. A quest for it, but it is hidden behind another. Um, it's hidden behind another quest. Now, I wish it kind of mentioned that in this. It just says found in the Twilight Forest, so I was just thinking it was a normal thing. Um, but it is actually a different item that you have to throw in the portal to activate it. And. Uh, and I found out it is locked behind this quest. So I need to do this quest, and then we can unlock the quest for the Twilight Portal. Um, so I need to find a Civil War sapling and some Civil War logs, and same with that. But thankfully I have, I have a great one thing right there. Um, I still don't know what's going on with my... My food bar, like, what is that? Like, why is it stuck? That has to be, like, a bug of some sort. But let me get this. And, uh, we'll repair this. Now, I need a Silver Word Sapling, and I'm thinking these are Silver Word Saplings. The blue leaves. So uh, I'm gonna go get those so we can finish that quest. Run over here, get some of the great logs, and I'm gonna to I'm gonna hop in the Nether portal to see if changing dimensions fixes um, my hunger bar. All right, I ended up chopping down like half of this tree uh, for the leaves uh, to get the saplings and I managed to get the one silver wood it took me two trees to get down and then that one the great wood saplings are a bit better with that that looks pretty terrible but I'm just gonna leave that for now um, but yeah that completes that quest and that opened up this one. Now this is asking me to oh, I don't particularly want to consume that. I mean, do I really I guess
All right, and then here is the the quest for the Twilight Portal, and we need this quick and dirty portal generator, which um, this is what you throw in the water to open up the Twilight Portal, and as we can see, it needs um, needs an assembler, so we can't make it yet. So one diamond and four circuits, and then you throw that in the portal. So that is the reason the portal wasn't opening. But unfortunately, we can't open that yet. But I did kind of want to uh, at least open that up to see where, um, or to show what you need to do to open the Twilight Portal. Um, so I'll meet back at the base and we will figure out where we are going from here. All right, we are back at the base and uh, just doing some processing here. Um, I think it's <laughs> finally time to start uh, putting some glass up here um, because I forgot to mention it, but I had to re-log. Um, I had to restart Minecraft to get rid of this a glitch with my my food thing um, and I think it might have been caused by a mob out there although I didn't see anyone near on the minimap but I would like to get some glass up here and maybe switch out the cobblestone for something a little prettier um, so for that I need uh, more lava and I figured I would upgrade my build craft tank from 16 buckets to 32 buckets and it's a quest and now that screws and plates are much easier to craft I figured I would go ahead and do that now I'm just guessing oh that's right this doesn't store it doesn't keep liquids if it's broken so I was gonna say don't have liquid in there if you're gonna do this because you'll probably lose it but you already lose that. So hammer, screwdriver. All right. So there is the iron tank. So that holds a whole lot of um, whole lot of lava, and we'll grab that. All right, and I did. I had some more issues with the empty cells, so it was definitely buggy. Um, I was clicking on like the the lava or in the tank that was over there, and putting it in the the, the smeltery, and I lost one. So definitely be careful with those empty cells. I'm just gonna open up all these loot bags that I've gotten here. Ooh, weighted pressure plates. I'll hold on to that for sure. I could even melt it down for two gold, but there I might find a, a use for this somewhere. Charge pad, I don't know if I'll use that, but um you know what else do I got? Supreme pizza. Got some wheat which I don't need. Veggie strips, I'll take. What's in these common treasures now? Potion of harming, splash potion, and gold coins. Oh, I got an emerald though. I will take that. I should probably have these in. Maybe there. I need to come up with like a magic chest here because I am rapidly running out of room. I'm probably not going to use those, but uh, now we'll just throw them in there along with that. And throw the wheat in there. Alright, so with the quartz sand, I noticed you can. If you macerate the sand down, you get the quartz sand, and if you pulverize splints, you get four per. So a stack of like a stack of glass would be one stack of sand and sixteen flint. But I'm just gonna kind of have that going. Um, I'm gonna go pick up some more 
lava, I think, for my smeltery here. And we'll just kind of have this filling up. I'm running low on steam, so I, I got the, uh, the boiler going here. And then we will move on. I have a, I think I'm going to go for a chemical reactor first, an assembler. Um, or probably my next two machines, I think. Um, so uh, the assembler, so I can get the Twilight Forest and make batteries, and then the chemical reactor will help me get uh, molten rubber. Um, but let me uh, go get some. Uh, let me get the lava for my smeltery and maybe craft up some more uh, of the materials. Just gonna go for steel. Yeah, for the chemical reactor, so I'll get some of the other parts. Oh, right after a, a lot of crafting here. Um, I'm just waiting for some rubber to finish for a couple wires. If we go over here, I have first I have the robot arms. Let's just go ahead and make those. And we can put them over here. And that is the basic assembly machine. Now let's just double check. All right. Oh, nice. So we got some rubber and some circuits and 60 coins is actually pretty good too. Um, that gets you uh, quite a lot. All right, so that is, there we go, the assembly machine. Claim that. And that opens a bunch of stuff. Oh, nice. Nature's compass. Nice. I'll have to check that out. Um, I don't really have a super huge use of it right now, but... So an ender pearl and some gold. Not bad at all. Don't really need that right now either. And spawning monsters in or near your base can be annoying, especially if you happen to get infernal creepers. Snits. Is that all? Uh, prevent mobs from spawning within 16 blocks where there is a clear line of sight to the chandelier. Alright, so that's kind of cool. Don't know if I'm gonna do that because I kind of just built uh, built out to the middle of the lake on purpose to get away from the stuff. All right, and then last but not least, we have the chemical reactor, which should be down here. Go ahead and claim that. And what do we have here? Yep, this is kind of the reason I wanted to get the chemical reactor. Which we make the rubber in the chemical reactor and then use the assembly machine to put it together. Which is the reason I bought or made both of them at the same time. Yep, and this is actually what I was going to do. So, let's just double check. No, you're good for now. Now I need a couple... Um, does this work? No. I can just do this in a thing, right? Yeah. All right. I don't know if these are going to burn up, to be honest. I think we're okay with the... Uh, with 
with only an N one steam turbine. So I don't think it's ever outputting more than um, I don't think it's ever outputting more than one amp. Could be wrong though, because I think I had all three of these running at one point and nothing happened with the wires. So, all right, so might as well complete this quest while we're at it. So I need to go get some more. Yeah, I don't have a full stick. Actually, I could get it from here, I think. This is going to take a while, isn't it? It's a one to one. Um, I guess I'll throw it in there for now, but I'm going to have to go get some more rubber here. Just because I don't want to. Yeah, I would like to complete that first part. Um, how do we make... I can never remember how to make these tree taps. Alright, just a bunch of wood. The question is, do I even have enough wood? Um, so it was... No. I think it was like... That wasn't it? Soft hammer and screwdriver? Wrench? Wrench? Not a hammer. Oh, a saw, wasn't it? There we go. That's not the one I want. Yeah, I want two of those. And these are gonna. I might be able to get enough uses out of these before they break. Dang it. All right, but before I do that, actually, I can actually make a, a new one. There is a quest for this, this one. So the soft mount is better than the rubber one that I was using. Or the wood one that I was using. Um, but I need. Now that sucks because I'm going to have to. I didn't want to have to use any more of those, but I can't use. I don't think I can use the rubber. No, it has to be the ingots. Alright, and the other, I don't know, I don't know if it's like an issue, but, um, I can make the wires, the cables or whatever with the assembly machine and the chemical reactor, but I can't make ingots yet. I would have to get a fluid a solidifier. So that is another thing I need to... I have a feeling Oh man, are you gonna break? No, you got some uses left on you. It was like that. No, I had a feeling it was like this. Alright, so there is the soft mallet saw. Large. I've already done this before. I don't know why I'm doing it while recording, to be honest. Soft mallet, screwdriver. Saw file. Except I need... Oh, there's the... Quest. Um, 
I cut this, can I throw this in here? Not that one, the, the lathe. Nice, I can. Wasn't sure if that would work on. Um, the wood or only metal, is that it? Yeah. All right, so let's sleep really quick. And I don't know if I've shown my rubber farm. So let's go. Take some of this away. I just realized I had, uh, I already had fluid pipes, but oh well, I'm gonna need some more. Alright, so I need to get rid of that maple. I hear slime, but I don't see it. Yeah, this maple tree is not the what I thought it was. Um, but anyway, I have planted a bunch of... Oh, I see a creeper somewhere. Where are you? It's underground. It must be like underground. Anyway, uh, I kept planting... Uh, trees until I got one with the things on and that way I kind of have a, a decent amount here and then I would just chop down the ones until I got like uh, the ones with the the rubber patches on them oh there is it's like I thought I Saw that go somewhere. I hate spiders. Anyway, this should be enough for this quest. Uh, let me let me we'll finish this quest or at least actually no we don't need to. I don't I don't know if we need to finish this yet. But we'll switch that to that anyway. River cane. Hmm, I didn't know you got that from just breaking breaking trees. It acts like a stick. Guess I'll throw it in there. All right, but anyway, so the chemical reactor is all right. I wanted to get this before I started using it all. <laughs> all right, there is the 63. All right, I just wanted to get that completed um, before we moved on. But if we do this, so as opposed to one and three equal one ingot, it's one sulfur and nine equal nine ingots. So it's like a one to one now. Or one to one with the raw barber dust, but only a ninth of the sulfur is needed. So that is pretty amazing. Now this will uh, this will uh, make the liquid rubber. It'll end up in here. It should uh, right here. So this is a little different than Greg Block. Um, so this is the solid items. This is the liquid. I don't know if this has two, um, but anyway. So what we can do is if we right click on, where is, Where did I put my... There it is. If we right click on this one, so the output is to the right. As we can see, the gray box is the output. So I have it facing to the right, and then I'm gonna do 
fluid output should automatically output it into there. And then I can do this, but I do need a circuit. We can find it. All right, so there we go. I need a 24. So let's get that. There we go, 24. So bottom left and to the right. I really wish we could. I like being able to right click them and just inputting the number as opposed to having to do it this way because I always forget which one is which. All right, but anyway, so. So we'll just do that and there we go so that will use the liquid and then it coats the wires uh, with that so that is a much more efficient way of getting the wires and I think I'll probably just leave this full of molten rubber I think uh, I don't know I may need it for another. I may need another fluid in here, and it doesn't look like I can fit a second fluid in here. It only has the one tank. All right, but with that, we can do this one. So this quick and dirty world generator, which, all right, so not so quick because <laughs> I need to make three more circuits, two more circuits. And I don't have, well, I have enough of those. I have enough of those. Oh, I might actually have everything. I think I do have all the materials. All right, I am... I hate having two small piles of iron dust just like in my inventory. All right, I don't think we're going to need those for a little while. Put that away. Put that away. All right, so I can make that into a full dust and smelt it, and I'll just throw this in here along with those. All right, so I think I have everything right. No. Fortunately, this is quite expensive at this time in the pack, for sure. A diamond and well four circuits I feel like are more expensive than the one diamond um, but if I see this right I think I'm pretty sure even though it has a uh, it has no fluid I'm pretty sure it will work even though there is fluid in it. yeah all right so we'll let that run what is my steam situation oh I am letting this cool off which is not what I wanted to do. All right, almost finished. Um, next episode, I want to automatic automate the getting the creosote into the steam boiler. Um, and yeah, and to do that, I need a pump. All right, so there is the quick and dirty portal generator. All right, is that slime still over there? I see them, I hear them. Yeah, is it like underneath? Where are you? I 
hear it. I don't see it. It must be underneath. Anyway, let's go ahead and throw this in. And there it goes. There is the portal to the Twilight Forest. Let me just sleep here so it's daytime. And what was this infernal mob? I don't even see what it was, but it had something, a whole bunch of stuff. All right, but should we go ahead and jump in? I should probably empty out stuff from my inventory. Just really quick. I don't think we're going to end up... We shouldn't end up in like some like crazy deadly place. Um, actually, let's just open these. Wow, 32 rubber bars. Iron drill. Mining pipe. These could all come in handy at some point. I don't know when, but uh, 32 rubber bars is really nice. I don't have any copper chests, unfortunately. But I can do a wood to copper and then copper to iron. Um, but I guess we'll just throw that in there for now. Oh, I also crafted this, which is a clipboard. And then you can just write whatever you want in them. Go to Twilight Portal. Oh, let's put forest, not portal. And then when you go through, you can just click it off, and it helps with all the different things. So I was like, I made the motors and then the conveyors and yada yada yada. And there is a quest for that too, I think. Yeah, there's a couple quests here, uh, but we'll turn those in next episode. And uh, move on from there. Now I do have a couple things in mind for the next episode, but uh, for right now, let's go ahead and jump in here and hope we don't die. All right, so that took uh, about 15 seconds. And we spawned on top of a tree, it looks like. So, yep. There we go. It looks like we're right next to a maze. Isn't that like the maze thing? Or the, is it like the garden? I don't remember. I haven't been through Twilight Forest in a very long time. But uh, I may... I need to find lead, is the main reason I wanted to come here. So, uh, between Y levels 5 and 45. And what is. We are in. What? Negative 182 and 120. All right. But uh, I think it's kind of funny. I did spawn on the top of a tree. <laughs> but anyway, we will explore a little more in Twilight Forest. I'm not, probably not going to do all the bosses yet. It's mostly for uh, lead I wanted. Um, and then we have a couple more things that I want to accomplish. Uh, automating my creosotes and uh, some other stuff. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.